Hey everyone, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning into this video. I was about to do my makeup and then I realized I'm just over some of the things that are in here. Some of it's cluttered. Um, this is where I keep like my everyday makeup because the way my vanity is, I have to like lift up this whole entire section to get into it. So it made it a lot easier to just have like some things out at a time. And I did do one of these videos before. So if you wanna see that one, I'll leave it up in the cards so you can check that one out. Since that first video, I put some stuff in that I got through gratis. Some things I was just like, oh yeah, I forgot about this product and I like grabbed them from underneath for like one look or another. We are in the middle of our Halloween looks for work. So I did take out some other things for Halloween looks. So this has just gotten kind of crazy, but then some of the staples that are in there, such as my, like my blush and bronzers, I'm just like, I feel like I need just a little bit of something different because I've been using these things for about a month aside from when I was in Disney World where I didn't use much of my makeup to be honest, it was just so hot and muggy. So we are going to get into this. I'm gonna first bring everything over, everything that's on my vanity. I'm just gonna like weed through. I'll keep some things that are true staples in here and then I'm gonna go inside and pick out some different things so we can put in there. And then I might also look in like my gratis section to see if there's anything that I'm inspired to use there. So that is what this video is. Let's just get into this. Okay, hopefully this is an okay enough angle and that you can see everything clearly. This is where I keep all of my makeup that I use on a daily. And again, everything else lives inside this guy here that lifts up. So let's just get started. I'm going to start, I think, with this drawer. So inside here, we have my Charlotte Tilbury finishing powder. Definitely staying inside. It's almost done. Like, I've almost used it up. This guy is from Tarte. It's the, one of their C lines, and it's just a mini. This packaging is so busted. I have loved this one all throughout the summer, and I loved it so much that I actually did purchase the full size because... As you can see, mine is like completely broken and even the pan falls out on sometimes. So it just needs to go because there's like cat burn it now from it falling on the floor. It's pretty gross to tell you the truth. So this is gonna go, I guess, not quite into an empties. This is just being decluttered and I do have a brand new one that I love. Um, so now we also have the Becca bronzer. This is in the shade Bali Sands. And I always feel like it's too light. Like I, no, I picked one of the lighter shades, but I it, it's hard to see on the skin. So this one I am gonna put back in. Maybe I'll use it more when I'm super fair, although I'm, I'm always fair, what am I saying? Um, <laughs> next we have the Color Corrector from Charlotte Tilbury. That's a staple that's staying in here. We have this Clinique blush. It's in the shade Nude Pop. It's pretty, it's very basic, but I feel like I just wanna try something different. So that is gonna go into my collection and then I also am putting the Patrick Ta blush. It's definitely the perfect color for this time of year but it's just I don't know I got over it pretty quickly like it's fun for an occasion but for an everyday it's just not my color so I'm excited to put this one aside and try something different. It has a cream side and it also has the blush side. I will say the powder side on its own for me is skippy and it doesn't stay well versus when I'm putting them together, it does last really well. So I feel like for the powder, for some reason, it has less longevity than the cream, at least on my skin with what I use. So that's just something to keep in mind. Let's move into this little section here. Let's see what I have. I have an eye cream that I'm trying to use up from Paradox. I love it. So yeah, I'm going to keep it and use it up. I feel like it's almost done. Next I have is this Anastasia Lip lipstick in the shade Ashton. I'm gonna put that one aside because I just want a little bit something different. Same with my Kaja Lip Click in the shade Crazy For You. So this one is going to go away. And then I also have this Sephora Collection Eyeliner. It's in the shade Matte Deep Plum. I only used it a couple times. It's not as plum as I want it to be. Moving to these little separators. I have the fragrance that's in my Project Pan, which is Lila. It's Lila Lou by Rosie Jane. I have my eye primer from Anastasia. That's a staple in here. I have this little guy that I'm trying to use up from, is it the Seven Virtues, which is a really great, like clean fragrance line. And that is in the scent Vanilla Woods. So we'll finish using that up. I'm gonna put my Ciate Dewy Blush in coconut back. This one is a really pretty color, but I will say you have to build it up because when you put it like that, it's just like 
Oh no, nice and rosy nude. It does blend out really sheer though, but really glossy. But then when you do a couple layers of that, it's beautiful on the skin. Like you can barely see that. But I, again, if you add a couple layers, it's gorgeous. So I like it. It is more sheer, so if you're nervous about cream blush, it's maybe a good one for you to try. Next I have the Rare Beauty Lip Balm in the shade Support, which is what I'm wearing today. It's a really nice color for fall, so I think I'm going to keep that one out. I'm also going to put back this Sephora Collection Lip Blast. It's in the shade number 3 Melon. It's a really pretty, just soft peach. It's a really pretty, really natural, and it does wear well underneath the mask. We have my Kosas lip oil, which is definitely staying. It is a staple. I am putting back this Makeup Forever uh, Matte Velvet Skin. It's in the shade 2.1. It's comically too light. I think it may be in a project pan. I'm not quite sure, but it's just not my shade. So I'm going to put it away. Maybe I'll try it again in the future when I'm more fair. I'm thinking I'm going to get more fair than I am. Anyways, we have this Tatcha. This is their serum stick, which is good if you need to like pinpoint where you need some hydration. I just don't need it right now, so this is gonna go back into my skincare area. I feel like I need a separate skincare area over here. Um, next we have, let's go through here. I think I need to stop using the beauty counter. So this is their counter time, and it, I think that was the thing that was giving me that reaction around my eyes. I don't know which video it was in, but I noticed I had like some redness and some rashness around my eyes. I think I finally decided it's this product. So I may have gotten it too close to a sensitive area, but this one I just I have so many other serums to try. So I'm going to put that one away. And then I am using this one here. This is the Ulla Henriksen Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. I love the texture of this one. One of you had asked for me to try this one, and I will say I love the texture so much more than their original Truth Serum. It's like a creamy, like very velvety feeling serum. I love the texture of this one. I haven't used it long, so I can't say about results, but it does have 15% vitamin C, PHAs, and hyaluronic acid. So. My skin has been liking it so far, but again, still new to me. Um, the foundation I'm currently using, you will see a video on it soon, is the Kosas Tinted Face Oil. I am starting a new series where I'm trying different foundations, and one of the, in the videos that I've decided to try is using a foundation for five days, or like a, using the same foundation for a week, to give it a good fair shot and try it different ways, see what works. And this is the first one that I'm trying. So just a little heads up, you'll be seeing a video like that soon. So we have that, that'll be staying in there. I have my primer, which I took out for that video. I tried it, it didn't quite work well with it. I'm gonna put this one away for now. We have my sunscreen, which is the Malu Protecting Day Cream from Hana. And I really like this one. It's almost gone, to tell you the truth, so that one can stay here. We have a couple moisturizers. We have the Goop Geeks jeans, which is more my nighttime. I think I'm going to put this actually in a different spot, because I feel like I forget because I don't do my nighttime routine here. I will keep my protein here from Drunk Elephant, and then this one again is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery. And again, I don't do my nighttime routine here, so my nighttime routine has been slacking. I'm going to put these in my bathroom. Moving back here, we have a whole bunch of stuff in this little section. I desperately need to clean this out because this is like a mess. So things that I'm putting away, I will put away this lip liner from Wet n Wild. I found it in like my backpack, but I'm not going to be wearing it anytime soon. So that's going to go. I love that lip liner. I've used one in the past. And um, we have an eyeliner or two from Marc Jacobs. I've been using these a lot for makeup looks for our Halloween things. Um, but I just don't need them on it every day, so these can go back. We have the brow pen that I was using and trying out. I don't think I love it as much as my Urban Decay. For some reason, this one is just like my ride or die. That one's definitely staying. This one, I've tried quite a bit, but I think I put it in a project pan, so I'm going to keep it out. But I think out of the two, I still prefer my Urban Decay. I have my Urban Decay eyeliner in zero that will be staying in here. This mascara was the one I used during our vacation a couple times. It's the Tarte C Surfer Curl because it's supposed to be like humidity sweat proof. 
I didn't notice any crazy running or anything, so that's good, but I just don't need it on a daily, so that's gonna go back in. This is the Lash Bread from Anastasia. Love, love, so that's gonna stay. I have the fragrance that I can actually put away for now. This is the Nest Hibis Sun Kissed Hibiscus. I'm just gonna put it away because I have been using others. And then I have two eyeliners that are gonna be staples. So I'm just gonna put them here, both from Tarte. One is their Fake Awake, and then they have a liquid liner and Sex Kitten. So this is all that we're left with right here. Oh, I do have this primer that I'm gonna keep in here because it's in a project pan. But that is where I'm at. There's a ton of stuff over here, so let me put this stuff away and then we will pick some new things. All right, so here is my makeup. I have it all sorted here. This is the stuff already in my collection. I also have this little bin of gratis items I'll put to the side in case something strikes my fancy. And then I also have a bag of gratis that I need to still film the second part of that video, which I don't think I'll pull from this time around. If I think I want to try something during that video, I'll put that aside then. So. I'm going to do this in order of how I apply things to my face so that way I don't miss steps. So for primer and foundation, I am already set because I do have the Dior Backstage Primer, which is in a project pan. And again, I am trying the Kosas foundation. And then I have a few foundations in here that will be the backups when I am done with the five days of the Kosas one. So I do have my color corrector from Charlotte Tilbury, but I am going to pull this new one out so I can try it out. But this is from Clinique. It's the Even Better Concealer. I have the shade in Bone. So we'll see if that one works out for me, but I'm gonna put that one over here. And then for powder, I have my finishing powder, but there have been days that I feel like I need more of a setting powder. So I am gonna pull out my Hourglass Veil setting powder, which is fantastic and it is almost done. So I'll keep that one out. Blush and bronzer. I definitely wanna change this up a little bit. So for bronzer, I have the full size again of the Tarte, but part of me wants to just like change it up completely for a little bit. So I am gonna take out my Holy Grail, which is the Han Skincare Cosmetics Bronzer. It's in the shade Ibiza and it is gorgeous. I have used a full one before. This is the second time around with it and I missed it. So I'm gonna pull this one out and I think I'm also gonna be pulling out the blush of the same brand, which is almost done. This is in the shade Glory, which is just like a beautiful peachy pink. And again, I missed having this. So excited for that. For the rest of my blushes, I definitely want something more on the pinker side. I don't know if I wanna try another like cream one because I have a few that are newer to me. Like we have this one from Fenty. I have this one from Rare, which I have not used a ton yet, but I feel like since I'm using a peach blush, I don't need to have like a peach cream blush as well. I think I'm going to take out this Hourglass one. I haven't used it in ages, but it's this one in the shade Diffused Heat. Uh, I don't know. It's a little bright for me right now. Now I'm regretting my decision. It's a really like pretty corally pink. Mm, you know what? I'm going to give this one some, some love because I never feel like I'm in the mood for it, but maybe I just don't know how to work it well. Um, I do want to pull out this guy. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Trio, and I feel like I have not given this one enough love at all. So I think since I'm trying out all these different foundations, I think having, I don't know, a diff couple different options for powders on top may be helpful. So I'm going to pull this one out because, again, I haven't shown it a ton of love. Moving on to eyes. Now I haven't talked about my eye products yet because I have been really enjoying my single eyeshadow palette that I just recently made. It's one that is all like purples and fall. It has some like more must has more mustardy colors and some browns. I've really been liking it, but I do feel like I just want something a little easy. So I am gonna pull out my Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Eyes to Mesmerize in the shade Marie Antoinette. This is another product that is like one of my holy grails and I missed it when I couldn't reach it. So gonna pull out this one for sure. And then I think for another option, I'm going to pull out this one from Viseart. This is the Trist palette, which I love and I feel like I need to show more love too. So just has some really great like everyday staples for me. I love just like one shadow looks and all three of these ones are exactly that. You can also use this one as a one shadow look too. So I'm going to be pulling this one out and putting it out on top for me. And as far as eyeliner, 
I have a black liquid and black pencil already out over here. And I don't think I need any more colors. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna keep it simple and minimal. Moving on to my favorite part, which is lips. I have so many lip products and I have more things in this gratis stuff. I have more lip products in this gratis stuff. Like it's getting intense and I do want to change it up. I have this one from Mary Beauty out. I think I might put it away because I've used this one a ton and I don't know. Let's just see where, where it goes. So this one from Tarte. It's their Maracuja Juicy Lips, and it is this really fun, like, poppy pink. I really like it. Um, but when you put it on, it's very sheer and just very glossy. So I totally forgot I had this. I'm going to take this guy out, too. Is this too close in color? This is from Bite Beauty. It's their Lip Stain in Orange Fizz. Ooh, that might be fun for fall. It's like a very bright orangey coral, but it's more of like a matte formula. I'm gonna take this guy out. I haven't shown that one love. I totally forgot I had that, so will do. Um, I want something more on like the pinky rose side. See this one in my gratis, which is right underneath me. This is from Bite Beauty. It's one of their new products. It's the Plumping Lip Gloss in the shade Cider Donut. I'm gonna take this one out. I think it's a perfect fall color. It's like a, can you see like a cinnamony type of color? Really pretty. We'll definitely use that. And I'll just do one more, because I'm already at three. Whew. Okay, I'll do one more. And what do I want? I'm going to pull this, ooh, which one? I, don't, I think I'll do this one, which is Encourage. It's like nice natural nude. I think that'll be like my go-to. Actually, I'm going to take both of them out. Why not? Because I do want to try both of them a little bit more. So Courage and Brave are coming out. And I think... That'll be fine. Actually, I'm going to put this one back. I just don't feel like I'm going to be in the mood for this bright of a color. So I'm going to put this one back so that way I'm still at four. I have my two Rare Beauty ones, the Tarte, and then the Bite. I think that works. And then lastly, we will take out a fragrance. I do have that one more florally one from uh, what's called by Rosie Jane. And so I will take out... Maybe another smaller one of these guys. Oh, this one's almost done. Let's finish this guy up. It's Orange Blossom from The Seven Virtues. I'll take this one out. And then I'll take out one more Rollerball, which will be, I'll do this guy, which is Iris Goddess from Floral Street, another more clean brand. So I think that's everything makeup y wise that I'm taking out. I'm gonna put everything together and then I'll maybe take out maybe one or two skincare products or hair care products and then circle back. So everything is now in its place. I'll just share with you a couple more things that I added to it. So I did take out a few skincare products through gratis that I just want to like try out and that tickled my fancy. So the first one is this Laneige Makeup Serum. It's one that's supposed to be like glowy and hydrating and I think it might help with some of the foundations going to be trying. So took this one out. And I also took out this liquid moisturizing toner. I really have been wanting to try this. This is the Ceramidin from Dr. Jart. And I will let you guys know my thoughts, but I thought that would be nice again with some of the foundations that I'm going to be using. I think I talked about everything else though. Um, so that's how everything is looking, nice and clean and simple. And yeah, I love doing this because I feel like I have like a whole bunch of new things to play with and I don't have the need to buy anything because there's so much stuff in here that has been hidden from me for a little while. So I'm excited about it. I hope you like this series. If you missed the first one again, I'll leave it up in the cards. Stay tuned for more videos to come and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys!